This book is about how I made a decision in the aftermath of a terrible tragedy and thought that that decision was going to be forever. And 40 years later, it became something completely different. On May 17, 1969, Captain David Rockwell Crocker Jr. was killed in the Vietnam War. In the midst of great pain and formidable grief, his young bereaved widow summoned the courage to make one remarkable decision. Within his coffin, instead of a body, she filled it with the mementos of their brief love. Her wedding dress, his dress uniform, and the hundreds of love letters that kept them connected while he was away in the jungles of Vietnam. Through an incredible sequence of events, that decision ultimately came back to her, demonstrating the tenacious will of the human spirit to heal and the great power and importance of remembering. Dave left for Vietnam on Veterans Day. His funeral was on Memorial Day. And now we're digging up the grave on Halloween and we're going to open it up on All Saints Day. And it's all unplanned. It was all serendipity. I'm thinking he, that it's in those letters and seeing that scene again of the stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking that it'll speak to me because I didn't tell anyone what had happened to me or you know what my life was. But they was killed in May of 1969. In 1970, I was back in school. I was open to learning things. And I think for a long time, especially after the Vietnam War, it was total silence for years and years. And everyone was, everyone was closed. I mean, whether, whether you were for it or against it, everyone closed down after that experience because there was no way to talk about it. There was no forum. So I'm ready to experience and understand everything with the hope that my knowledge will in some way affect a desire for peace and forgiveness and nonviolence in all the people that I come in contact in my life. I feel stronger now and more prepared to apply my personal essence, my intuition, in ways to create peace in the world. And it all starts with each one of us. So that's my story. We all share this need to understand what happened to us and how can we understand our experience. I think this book will give people hope that they can survive the unimaginable and that, that we have resources that we never could have believe that we have.